you can invite someone to help you over a network or an internet connection with remote assistance. You start by typing invite at the start screen and you opt to invite someone to connect to your PC and help you. Notice there are two options. I'm going to choose here on this computer to invite someone and on my other computer that you're not going to be able to see I'm going to opt to help someone who has invited you. So from here I'll click invite someone to trust you. Invite someone to help you that you trust. And here I've got to somehow get this invitation over to the helper. So there are lots of ways to do that. I can email that invitation. I could save it somehow say on a network drive where the uh, you know technician could access it. Or I could use Easy Connect. You should always try Easy Connect especially on a local network to see if that works first. But I'm going to go ahead and save this invitation as a file. And then from my other computer I'm going to access that invitation. I'm choosing to use an invitation file. I'm going to look for that invitation. And I found it. I'll double click on this other computer. It says enter password. I'm entering the password now on the technician computer. I'm clicking OK on the transmit on the uh, second computer and I'm going to click yes. Let's go ahead and do that. Now I have an open remote assistance session and I'm being helped by Jolie Ballou. I have some settings. I have that my helper can now see my desktop. I might say hey when I right click this I don't see what I want to see here. How do I get to say use program compatibility mode? Well my technician can then tell me how to do that. The technician can also take control of my computer and perform the task for me.